Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Google Classroom using your Android phones. First is you must be connected to the internet or Wi-Fi connection. Second is that you must be signed in your Google account or Gmail. Now that Gmail or Google account would be the same account that you are going to use in signing or joining or creating a class using the Google Classroom. Now how to install the Google Classroom? Here's how. First, you must search for the Play Store in your Android phones. This is the Play Store in the Android phone that I have here, so I'm going to click on Play Store. Next is you have to search for Google Classroom. So search Google Classroom. Then, as you can see, the Google Classroom app is only 12 MB, so it's very small, it's not that big, it won't take much space in your Android phones. Now install. Wait for the app to be fully downloaded in your Android phone. Download time will depend on your internet connectivity. Now it's already installing in your Android phone. Wait for it to be fully installed in your Android phone and then open once it's already installed. Then click on Get Started. Choose the account for your Google Classroom. This is your Google Classroom. Now, since I'm using my account, which is an instructor account, I have here the classes that I have already created for my partnership and corporate classes. So let's just say I'm a student and I want to enroll in, a, in any of these classes that I've already created. So let's enroll or sign as an, another student, okay? So if you're new to Google Classroom, this is how your Google Classroom looks like. It's blank. So you had just click on this plus sign here, then join class since you're a student. You ask for your teacher for the class code so that, so that you can join in. The class code is found here if you're the teacher. Let's go back if I, I'll sign in as a teacher. The class code is found here. So click on the settings. It's found here. General class code. The teacher will send you this class code. Again, join class. In the class code, paste the class code sent to you by your professor or your instructor, and then join. So here is the classroom. There's some material here that I've already posted as an instructor, okay? Now you click on that material and then you try to access it using your Google Drive. So how to do it? You click on this arrow here. Make sure you just ask your teacher that the material must be, um, the link for that material is already turned on because if it's turned off, you cannot download it for offline reading. So if you want to download it to your Android phone for offline reading, click on these three buttons here and then look for download or you can send a copy to your friends or you make a copy or you copy the link and then send it to your friends, okay? So let's just download this for offline reading. There, so the item will be downloaded in your phone. Then you go to your files. Go to download, it's there. So this is the file from the Google Classroom. So as a student, please make use of your Google Classroom because we are already online now. This is how we open the Google Classroom or join in the Google Classroom as a student. I hope you learned something today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have some comments, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Please don't send any comments that are not relevant to the videos because there are some students and uh, they told me that they're afraid to post comments because uh, of some unnecessary or irrelevant comments. I will be posting other videos in the succeeding weeks relative to our topic in our subject. So please uh, stay tuned. Please subscribe. It's for free. And also hit the notification bell for my future posts or videos. That would be all. Thank you very much for watching. God bless. I'll see you next time.